Top 12 Recommended Spots in Tokyo for 2024 Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. In this video, we'll introduce 12 recommended tourist spots. If you want more details about any particular place, feel free to leave a comment. First up, let's introduce the Tokyo Sky Tree. It takes about 20 minutes by train from Tokyo Station to Oshiage Station, where the Tokyo Sky Tree is located. At Tokyo Sky Tree, there are two observatories the Tembo Galleria and the Tembo Deck. It's better to buy the Kamba ticket, which allows you to visit both the Tembo Deck and the Tembo Galleria. It's recommended because you can enjoy the highest view in Japan. There is a commercial facility called Tokyo Solamachi at the base of Tokyo Sky Tree. At the fourth floor, you can enjoy adorable dishes at the Kirby Cafe. On the first floor, there is Solamachi Shotengai, featuring around 20 shops including restaurants and souvenir shops. You'll find places for casual dining and restaurants offering luxurious seafood bowls. By the way, right near Tokyo Sky Tree, there is Kura Sushi, a popular conveyor belt sushi restaurant. You can enjoy delicious sushi at affordable prices. It gets crowded during lunchtime, so it's better to go around 11 a.m. when they open or around 4 p.m. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next spot is Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station is a major station where around 4,100 trains, including both regular trains and Shinkansen, arrive and depart every day. One of the popular places in Tokyo Station is Tokyo Character Street. There are over 30 specialty stores for character merchandise like Harry Potter, Snoopy, Disney, and more. The Pokemon Store is particularly popular. Among them, Kirby Cafe Putid is highly recommended. Previously, you needed to make a reservation, but now you can purchase sweets and character merchandise without making a reservation. There is a wide variety available, including bread in the shape of stars and adorable Kirby-themed sweets. Tokyo Ramen Street is just as popular as Tokyo Character Street. There are eight famous ramen shops from across Japan. The most popular one is Roku Rinsha. During lunchtime, you might wait over an hour, but around 3 p.m. on weekdays, you can get in within about 10 minutes. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next place is Shinjuku. One particularly popular tourist spot in Shinjuku is Kabukicho Tower. It's a massive building spanning 48 floors above ground and 5 basement floors, housing hotels, cinemas, and restaurants. On the 17th floor, there is a shop selling gelato and cookies. Having gelato while taking in the view of Shinjuku makes it taste even better. You can enjoy luxurious burgers made with Wagyu at Kabuki Burger and Tacos on the first floor. The patty is richly seasoned, and the meat juices makes it incredibly delicious. By the way, Shinjuku Omoide Yokocho is a recommended place to have dinner in Shinjuku. There are about 60 izakayas. It's available even if you can't drink alcohol. There are also restaurants where you can enjoy dining outdoors. Our recommended place is Gifuya. It's a restaurant where you can enjoy Chinese cuisine with a Japanese-style variation. The freshly grilled gyoza goes well with beer. The ramen is simple and delicious, but the tanmen topped with stir-fried vegetables and pork is highly recommended. The salt-flavored soup and chewy noodles are a perfect match. By the way, many shops in this area don't accept credit cards or Sika cards. It's better to bring cash. 
All right, let's move on to the next area. The next place is Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea. These two parks are located in Chiba Prefecture, not Tokyo. It takes about 16 minutes by train from Tokyo Station to Maihama Station, where Tokyo Disney Resort is located, so it's easily accessible. The tickets are not sold on site, so you need to purchase them in advance on the website. By the way, Tokyo Disney Sea will open a new area called Fantasy Springs. It's themed around three movies Frozen, Tangled, and Peter Pan. It's going to open on June 6, 2024, so be sure to check it out. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next up is Tokyo Tower. There are six stations around Tokyo Tower. Using Google Maps, it's easy to find out which station is most accessible from your location. There are two observatories at Tokyo Tower. The admission fees differ between them. If you purchase a ticket on the official website, you can get it at a lower price, so it's better to buy it in advance. You can enjoy a retro atmosphere compared to Tokyo Sky Tree. At the Moss Burger in Tokyo Tower, there is a special hamburger available only at this location, so be sure to give it a try. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next place is Tsukiji. There are two stations near Tsukiji. If you're coming from Shinjuku Station, Tsukiji Shijo Station is easy to access. The closest exit is exit A1. If you're coming from Tokyo Station, Ikebukuro Station, or Shibuya Station, Tsukiji Station is accessible. The closest exit is exit 1. From either station, it's about a 4-minute walk to reach the main area of Tsukiji. Many shops at Tsukiji are closed on Wednesdays, Sundays, and national holidays. Saturdays tend to be crowded with Japanese tourists, so it's recommended to visit on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. By the way, around 11 a.m. is the busiest time at Tsukiji, and many shops close around 2 p.m. Many shops open early in the morning, so if you come around 7 a.m., it's not too busy, allowing you to enjoy a relaxed meal. There are many small shops at Tsukiji, and most of them don't have restrooms. If you want to use one, Tsukiji Uogashi is recommended. There is a clean restroom on the third floor of this building that anyone can use freely. On the same floor, there are tables and chairs outside, which are available for meals and breaks. At Onigiri Marutoyo, you can enjoy affordably priced onigiri and seafood rolls. The tamagoyaki of Tsukiji Yamacho is fluffy and delicious. We also recommend Wakaba, a ramen specialty shop open from 6.30 a.m. Their ramen has thin noodles that blend well with the soup. Now, let's move on to the next area. Next stop is Akihabara. It takes about 4 minutes by train from Tokyo Station to Akihabara Station. Akihabara is a famous district known for electronics and anime. If you go shopping, Don Quixote is recommended. There is a wide variety of popular items exclusive to this place, and there is also a maid cafe. You can try beef skewers at Mavraju Senik Ten on the first floor. Kobe beef is tender and melts in your mouth. Please give it a try. A building directly connected to the station called Atria Akihabara 2 houses Shabuyo, a restaurant where you can enjoy all you can eat shabu shabu. It's only on weekdays, but you can enjoy unlimited all you can eat from the time of entering the restaurant until lunchtime ends at 4 p.m. If you come in at the opening time of 11 a.m., you can stay for up to 5 hours. 
We explained in more details in another video. There is a link to the video in the description box. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next place is Ginza. From Tokyo Station to Yurakcho Station, it's just one station by train and takes about two minutes. There are many high-end brand stores in Ginza, but lately, the number of more affordable shops has been increasing. If you go shopping, Maronier Gate Ginza 2 is especially recommended. It houses Uniqlo, GU, and the supermarket called OK. Especially, the bento section at OK is a must-visit spot. You can buy seafood bowls that would cost double if eaten in tsukiji and bento made with the highest grade A5 Wagyu all at affordable prices. It's highly recommended, so definitely check it out! There is Ginza Itoya, a specialized stationery store located about a 5-minute walk from the Yurakcho station. It offers over 140,000 stationery items across 8 floors. There is a wide variety of items including unique products and high-end pens, so you'll find what you want. Alright, let's move on to the next area. Next stop is Harajuku. Harajuku is next to Shibuya, so you can walk there. It takes about 28 minutes by train from Tokyo Station. Takeshita Dori Street, right in front of Harajuku Station, is a famous and bustling tourist spot, always crowded with many people. It's a great place for a food tour because it features popular sweets and foods that are trending on social media. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next place is Ueno. It takes about 7 minutes by train from Tokyo Station to Ueno Station, so it's close by. The most popular spot in Ueno is Ameyoko. It's a bustling shopping street filled with many shops. Among them, a recommended shop is Uotsuka. You can enjoy fresh seafood dishes at affordable prices. The medium fatty tuna melts in your mouth. The salmon roll bowl is seasoned with a slightly rich soy sauce flavor, and it goes well with the rice. Matsuzakaya, a department store founded in 1768, is also recommended. At the food specialty floor in the basement, you can get various dishes for takeout and enjoy them. Now, let's move on to the next area. The next area is Asakusa. It takes about 20 minutes by train from Tokyo Station. Taking photos at Kaminaremon Gate and enjoying a food tour along Nakamise Dori is recommended. Sensoji Temple is at the end of Nakamise Dori. Taking a rickshaw ride to experience the lively atmosphere of Asakusa would also be a good idea. Kappabashi is located about a 10-minute walk from Asakusa. There is a shopping street that sells tableware and kitchenware with over 170 stores. A particularly popular spot in this area is Ganso Shokuhin Sampo Shop. This shop makes food samples displayed in restaurants, and they also sell items like clocks and keyrings. There are also DIY kits available where you can make your own food samples, so be sure to give it a try. You can create food samples that look just like the real dishes. Now, let's move on to the next area. The last place is Shibuya. It takes about 26 minutes by train from Tokyo Station to Shibuya Station. Shibuya Mega Don Quixote is a popular spot among tourists. It's a large building with 7 floors above ground and 2 basement floors, offering about 80,000 types of products. The seventh floor is where you'll find typically Japanese items, making it the perfect place for international tourists. It's recommended for buying Japanese souvenirs. Shibuya Parko is located about a six-minute walk from Shibuya Station. 
On the sixth floor, there are shops for games and anime merchandise, bustling with many people. Kanazawa Maimon Sushi on the seventh floor is a slightly upscale conveyor belt sushi restaurant, but if you want to have delicious sushi, it's recommended. Kiwamiya is a popular restaurant located on the basement floor. You can enjoy hamburger steaks and steaks grilled to your liking by yourself. It's a place that usually has long lines, but if you come around 4 p.m., you can get in smoothly without waiting too much. The last place is Shibuya Sky. It's a popular tourist spot where you can enjoy a panoramic view of Tokyo from the rooftop. You can buy a ticket at the counter, but since it's a popular place, tickets often sell out, making it hard to buy one on the day. So, it's better to buy it in advance from the official website. Hold your QR code over the gate to enter. Take the elevator and head to the 45th floor. You will arrive from the 14th to the 45th floor in about 30 seconds. When you take the escalator one level up from this floor, there is an exit to the outdoor area. When you go to the outdoor area, you'll need to leave your baggage in the coin lockers. You can bring your smartphone and camera. You need 100 yen for using coin lockers, but it will be refunded afterward. Once you've left your baggage, you'll go outside. This is the 46th floor, but it's not the top floor. Let's take the escalator and go to the rooftop of this building. Wow, it looks like the buildings are miniatures. This is the rooftop, the sky stage. In the center of this floor, there is a helipad made of artificial grass, so you can even sit directly on it. You can enjoy views not only of Tokyo, but also Chiba and Kanagawa, and you can see the Tokyo Skytree and Tokyo Tower as well. It's recommended to take a photo at the popular photo spot, which is the corner of the building. Many people are taking photos, so you'll need to wait in line, but it's worth it because it's a view you can only take photos at Shibuya Sky. It will definitely become a great memory of your trip to Japan. The places we introduced this time are details in another video. There are links to them in the description box, so please check them out. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!